G'day, we're here with Tacky Boys High School, where in 2014 the uniform shop hopes to develop its space to incorporate more storage and better use of the existing space. We're here with Felicia, who is part of the uniform committee, who's going to explain to us the needs and the wants of the uniform shop. Felicia, thank you very much for your time today. My so, pleasure. Can you tell us a bit about the history of the uniform shop? So the uniform shop was originally set up by a group of parents to provide uniform for Waitaki Boys students and to work with suppliers to ensure that we got the best deal so that um, students were clothed the same but also so that parents got the best price possible. Excellent. Yeah, um, as the uniform shop's developed we've been able to um, make sure that we are the only supplier of all the uniform items. So everything through from your drink bottles to your sun caps to the cricket uniform the jerseys and the shirts that the boys all wear. Um, right through, you know, so we've got all the uniform requirements that they need, um, even laundry bags for the hostel boys. <laughs> so everything's covered. Um, and as a part of that, um, we can negotiate really good deals with suppliers, so we can get really um, good pricing, which makes us cost effective. And we can also um, feed back our profits into the school through the community association arm, which is Fantastic. And I'm aware there's a few different types of uniforms. Does that give you any problems? Yeah, or? so we do have a very <coughs> distinct fall uniform and day uniform. Um, so the boys all for day to day wear, wear the blue shirts, um, which of course every young man needs probably three of them because yeah. they're not that great at getting them off the floor <laughs> and into the washing machine. Um, so we have that uniform and then as you can see Bob behind us has got um, the white formal uniform on, so he's got the white shirt, the blazer, which they wear whenever they're representing the school. So most young men, particularly by the time they have senior school, will actually be running two separate uniforms. Okay. Um, the blazers are one of those things that um, are an investment piece, and so we um, do offer a higher option, which a lot of our boarders use because they need a blazer on the left and the um, as well as um, someone who's in a into school for maybe cricket can hire the blazer um, if they've got an first year and do it year only. So it's a really good option for them as well. So we need storage space for our So why now? Why have the uniform shop decided to expand? So we've been really fortunate. Um, the school has closed down the stationary arm of their um, community station at Asian Buying Arms, which consists of the canteen, the stationery and the uniform shop, because it's so easy to source stationery online, um, and the school has decided that to be of use of their resources. Especially it allows teachers to um, pick the books that they need for a particular subject, they can then forward them to the online supplier, the parent can go online no matter where they live in New Zealand, and get the books delivered to the boys here at school. So it's a really um, effective way to do it, so they no longer need the stationery shop. We um, were then fortunate enough to be granted that additional space that used to be taken up by the stationery shop. Um, and so because we've got that additional space, we want to make best use of it and be good guardians of what we've been given to use. Good. So in previous meetings and discussions we've had, you've given us a list of specifications. And Really what we'd like to do is find out why you get, why those yeah. specifications and um, a bit more background behind them. Okay. So could you tell us, uh, you're going to change the layout of the shop. What elements would you like to keep? Okay, so one of the things that we think is really important to keep is a separate till space area for our paid employee. Um, this allows her to have confidence when she's dealing with money. Um, it also provides a level of personal safety because it is a female employee. Um, and it also gives her a space for afterwards to be able to shut that area down and do book work that's required. So we do want to keep that separate um, retail type space available for her which contains her kill, till, her laptop, um, cash handling type facilities. So that's okay. really important. Yes, understandably. Um, then we really would like to retain some changing rooms but would actually like to add to them. So we currently have two changing rooms and particularly during our January preschool period, which is of course when everyone's growing over the summer and everyone needs new uniform items, um, <laughs> it can be really busy, um, especially if you suddenly go to try on a uniform it's a week out from school and find that no longer fits. 
Um, so having only two change rooms can provide a bit of a bottleneck and can lead to situations where you've got young men changing in the corridor basically, <laughs> which is fine if you're a very self-confident year 13, but if you're a year 9 they tend to feel a little bit more precious about these things. And of course it is an old boy school. <laughs> yes, yes it is an old boy school, but the uniform committee is mostly women, so you know. Yeah, I'm sure <laughs> that causes some uh, interesting scenes. Yes, yes. So, um, to be able to have additional changing space would be a huge bonus, um, but of course we need to be able to view it from the um, till space, from the retail space, um, maybe through the use of a you know, mirror like they have on the corners of roads where you can't quite see what's coming, just for um, health and safety, make sure there's no bullying occurring, um, and of course to stop retail theft. And how much space is really required for stock? At this time of year is when we need the most space for stock. We um, obviously have our busiest trading period in January and before everyone comes back to school. And so we actually have a significant amount of stock. Um, all the stock that we keep is um, can be boxed, so we can use um, space efficiently by boxing and stacking. But in an ideal world, we have everything displayed with shelving now we're quite aware that the shop is located on school grounds and we want you said you wanted to keep it in line with the school theme i take it the school theme is the colors here we see yes yes so you can see the colors of the school theme here um and obviously you know going for a hot pink uniform shop probably wouldn't be that popular um, but you know we're very aware of the position of the school that we're a part of that we um you know have some really great things and things we use a lot of limestone um, at Waitaki Boys as well and so some of that colour scheme would be I think important for the shop. Also for stock, um, you know you don't want anything that's too bright that then detracts from the stock or makes it hard to see. So lighting would also become an issue um, and so not only the lighting within the shop so you can see the products properly but also being aware of natural light from outside so we wouldn't want our dark grey jerseys to be dull from the sunshine or anything like that. No, the sun here in New Zealand is quite strong. It's quite eh? strong, yes, especially over the summer period. So what would be the most important aspect you'd like to get from the new design? Um, a clean layout that made sense for parents and the young men to transition around the shop as they get with their uniform items. Um, probably starting with the socks and working their way up, that seems to make logical sense to me. But of course. Finishing with a blazer. Um, a clear traffic flow so you did not end up with a bottleneck. Last January we had parents out to where we're sitting now. Wow. Yeah, so it can be really, really busy, particularly <laughs> on the first Thursday and Friday that were open in January. Um, and they're all very patient and we're cool, but it would be nicer to get rid of that bottom end so you're not crossing the line of traffic to go and help someone find an item. Okay. Right, shall we have a look and see what we're dealing with? Is there any elements of the current shop that you wouldn't like to see repeated in the new design? Yes, at the moment in the current shop space we've got a lot of deep space that's not actually well utilised really like to make better use of that space. Um, when we go inside and have a little tour through, you'll be able to see that particularly in the old stationary space, we actually have to pull all the uniform out and display it because it's too much of a bottleneck in there to bring um, parents and students into it to then go around that space and have a look at the uniform that's available. So we can only use it as a storage area at the moment. Whereas if we could, um, you know, remove some walls, maybe put in some shelving, then it would be a space that would be able to utilise the whole area. Um, it also uses up a lot of our employees' time on a Tuesday, so she has to get everything out of the shop, line it all up, and put everything back at the end of the shift. And so if we could remove the barrier, current uniform shop space. Um, the shelving at the back is actually really efficient for what we have and this holds our basic day-to-day -day stock levels. So this is not our January stock, this is our every week of the year wow. so that boys can um, just come in and buy the things that they think as they go. Particularly boarders um, come in during term time and purchase new uniform items or if you get selected onto a team 
Yes, and then you need the team gear to go with it as well. Okay. Um, we do have things that we send over to dressmakers, so we keep them down separately. Our higher blazers are stored off to one side as well. And then we go through the jerseys to shirts, and you can see the care system for that. Um, before our uniform shop retail assistant can come in, she has to move all of these because they, are full, they fill the shop. Um, so we have to move them in and out every time we want to use the shop. So it adds Not to the work. Not no. ideal at all. And then we come to our January stock levels and we have to store them separately. Okay. Yeah. Shall we have a look at where you can first I think we should go and have a look at that. So this is your stock room. This is our stock room. Um, so when stock comes to the school, it comes to the school office, it's then brought over to the uniform shop. It's um, checked off, inventoried, a barcode's applied to everything so we can scan it for our retail system. And it's put on the trolleys or into boxes. Our stock at this time of year is the worst that it is at any time because we've got the January preschool period coming up. Um, Obviously, as you can see, we cannot use the space. We have to pull everything out of here. We use trestle tables, we set boxes up on it, and create a slalom system for the parents in the space that we've got. Um, in an ideal world, we'd have shelving. These, some of these walls would be removed, and we could display all our stock beautifully and just have a clear system. Have you always had your stock like this? No, we used to have to store it off-site. Wow. So some of it was stored upstairs, so of course that then created health and safety issues with bringing stock up and downstairs and backs and things like that. Um, there were also other issues involved in that. Um, we used to have less stock in stock and that meant that we often had supply delay issues which creates um, particular issues for things like if you have no peer gear and it's athletic stay, what do you get the young men to wear? Right. Yeah, so now it's really good that we do have this additional space that we've gained with the stationery shop closing, but we need to use it better. Right. Shall we have a look at where the boys get changed? Sure, sounds good. So this must be the uh, changing rooms. These are our current changing spaces. So as you can see, they've got a trip hazard for starters. Oh, Because yeah. they've been added in. Um, they are uh, very basic, small. They don't have mirrors or anything like that for them to be able to see what they're actually trying on. And so our common refrain is, go put those shorts on and come back out and let us see you wearing them. Okay. Because, you know, they tend to want them really low on the back sides or um, a size too small, too large. So it's actually really important that you can give that feedback. And often they'll listen to um, someone from the uniform committee where they won't listen to their parents. But of course. Yeah. <laughs> and I see there's space here. Is this another this changer? This is another cupboard. Cupboard, okay. Yeah, so it's a cupboard which has got shelving inside it. Um, so it could be a changing room. But I think this whole thing, as you can see, has been added in. So it would be quite easy to remove. Excellent. Right. Yeah. So we've got lots of potential in our space. But we're not using what we've got well. Okay, so bottom line is you need to use the space better, yes. have more uh, changing rooms, yes. and you, more user friendly. Exactly, perfect. Excellent, right, yeah. let's see what the boys get Thank up to. Thank you so much for your time, and we really appreciate it. Yeah.